Thank you very much. Meanwhile, districts are now looking ahead. What if the walkout continues into next week? Now your side investigative reporter Valerie Cavazos looks into the legal scope of the walkout. Val. Well, as everybody has mentioned, the teacher walkout is unprecedented. Teachers have entered unchartered legal waters and appear to be taking this days at a time. So far, we know the walkout is at least two days. But what happens when it reaches day three, day four and beyond? Could teachers face legal consequences like losing their teaching certificates or jobs? I spoke to labor attorney Steve Pertel. He says the walkout itself is not illegal. It's not really a strike. There are no picket lines preventing teachers from entering schools. The Red for Ed movement, the teachers, gave the districts fair warning so they are not abandoning their classrooms, which in that case would be against state law. But in this case, Here's the reality. The reality is uh, taking punitive action, um, even so much as a letter of censure against a particular individual teacher, is impractical because the movement is too large. How do you then, in a right to work state, enforce what are essentially going to have to be case by case by case, individual, individual situations uh, to show? that their activities were somehow outside of the boundaries. And that's very difficult. Difficult for districts. Portel says administrators will have to tread very carefully if they choose to discipline individual teachers during or after the walkout. So legally, he says, there's really not much preventing a long-term walkout. Back to you.